Hello, class. Good evening. Let's see if we start um, appearing. A ver si comenzamos a aparecer por ahí. Tenemos a Carito with a new hairstyle con un nuevo estilo de cabello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, we are having a date. Vamos a tener una cita entonces, pues, Carito. No. Not really. Ya la tuve. <laughs> wow. Ok. Esa es la actitud. Me gusta eso. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, then we have Andreita. Hello, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Ok. Um, remember that uh, we are having just one more class. Solo vamos a tener una clase más y ya estamos por terminar. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Andrea. Susi, Q. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing okay and drinking my cup of coffee. And you? Good. What about Good. your coffee? Uh, ya me lo tomé. Ya me lo tomé. Yeah. Okay, already. Yep. Already taking, okay, nice to see, good. Then we have also um, Diana and also, hello, Dianita. Hi, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Bien? Bueno, Diana, uh, good morning. <laughs> Así parece. <laughs> yes, por dos. Okay, um, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Uh, perfect. Perfect. Yes. Perfect, okay, fine. And Diego. Hello, Diego. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And tell me, how was your day? Similar, similar uh, to yesterday, or different? Yes, it was a uh, uh, great day too. Okay. Well, this uh, uh, today was your second day at your new uh, job. No, I'm. I'm not start yet to work. But you're about you right. Know, yeah, tomorrow I, I will I will be begin the training. Wow, wonderful. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm pretty sure that you're going you're you're doing it perfectly. But you know what, teacher? I'm a little bit sad because I'm thinking mm, we are almost finishing the classes oh. and okay. But remember the way I we have to... like a single party. Soon, vamos a tener una fiesta de pie soltero pronto, right? In December. Yeah, in yeah. December. Yes. So, I don't know who's going to prepare it. Who's going to organize it. A ver si quieren va a organizar. So, maybe we can have it. Why not? Definitely. We should do it. Okay. Ya que se van a casar algunos. For example, Andrea. And maybe Edgar. I don't know if they, they are married. No, Andrea is not married, right? Right, Andrea? No. Okay. No. Hey. No. 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 <laughs> really. Really. Yeah. Really. In five years, maybe. 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 Okay. I said maybe. Yes. Yes. Is is two years or one year? Okay. Nice. Uh, Carmen. Hello. Good evening. How fancy, Miss. Hello. Good evening. Are you at work or at home? At home. At home, okay. Perfect. But you're in a different place. Sí, me han quitado el escritorio, entonces ah, estoy no. en el comedor. No, eso sí es, eso sí es. Ve. Ah, okay, I can see it. Sí. Con quién es que estábamos hablando que, que decíamos que normalmente así nos va sacando de la casa. No recuerdo con quién estaba hablando. Con Carito fue, creo. Okay, así es. Van ah, nos van desplazando. Okay, perfect. Los hijos nos desplazan. No, así es, así es. <risa> y también las nueras. Okay, I'm what about... Ni Dios quiera eso. Vaya, oh, vaya, tranquila, relax. No, nueras, no. <risa> ya se activaron. Un momento. Mira, se activaron ya esas mujeres, ¿veis? Mira. <risa> well, it can happen, puede pasar. ¿Verdad, carito? Yes. Otros vendrán, ¿verdad? Así que... Que de tu casa te sacarán. Wow. Carito lo dice. Ok, Carito lo dice. She says that. Bien. 
No, espero que no, Carmen. You're going to be the queen always. Siempre baja. The queen, la, la reina de los, los cuatro reinos. Yes, why not? <laughs> And Carla, uh, hello, good evening. Tiene que ser la suegra bruja para alguien. Oiga, ah, <laughs> eso me suena experiencia. Ajá, eso sí, eso me suena. No. ¿Qué pasa, Susi? ¿Alguna espinita ahí? Mira, saluda onda? a la suegrita por si, acaba, si ve el, el, el videíto, ¿eh? ¿No le vas a mandar saludos, eso? No. Mm, ok. Hello, Carly. Hello, teacher. How are you? Perfect. Good. Good. No, ok. I like to hear that. Normal at, at work? Normal en el trabajo? Uh, relax. Relax. Well. That's wonderful. Thank you, Carla. And here we have Dianita. Como que está lista para ver Spider-Verse. A ver si es radita. Okay. Um, eh, Marlon. I don't know if you're ready. Hello, Marlon. Everything okay? Everything okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. That's wonderful. Okay. Perfect. How was your day? Normal day? A different um, day? No, it was normal, teacher. It was relaxed. Okay, that's fine. Not Perfect. so, not so busy. Oh wow, that those are uh, like uh, those are the the the, the good ones. So no, lo, los buenos, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Marlon. And, and what about Edgar? Are you there? Is that for Edgar? Yes, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. The cold, frío. Yes, a little bit. Is, is it raining? There? Uh, not raining. Not raining. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What about Helen? Uh, Helen, as always, is I think uh, Helen is like walking. Thank you, Kevin. Hello, teacher. Hello, Kevin. Everything okay? Todo bien? Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. And um, we're going to start. Uh, this is the. This is one of the the last classes, right? Um. Y espero que esta computadora no se ponga lenta. Okay. Everything could be good. So we're going to start with. Let me see. Okay, we're going to check how to use can for informal uh, requests, but also we're going to continue with the last topic that was could. Vamos a, a continuar también con el tema del could, <clears throat> right? So to start or to begin with, uh, I don't know, this is the class number 19, as you can see, 19. So tomorrow, and we are getting divorced. Okay, so we start with <clears throat> polite ways to say no. Me recuerdo esto, Andrea, que no estaba diciendo que no, but okay. There are different forms <clears throat> to say no. And definitely there are formal, and there are like polite ways, and there are unpolite ways, que son maneras uh, como que no, no tan amables, no tan tranquilas para decir no. So here we have. Sounds nice, but I'm not available. You can apply these phrases to work. Puedes, en, ¿cómo se llama? Aplicar estas frases en el trabajo, especialmente cuando les piden horas extras y no se lo van a poner. I'm sorry, but I can't help you this time. Unfortunately, unfortunately, esta la E es silent letter. Unfortunately, it's not a good time. Maybe next time. Or you can say maybe another time. Sorry, but I can't make it. Thanks for thinking of me, but I can't. Thanks for thinking of me. Thinking of me significa pensar en mí. Gracias por pensar en mí. ¿Verdad? No decimos thinking in me. Decimos thinking of me, but I can't. Okay. So uh, let's see if you can uh, express some of these uh Phrases to say no politely, para decir no de manera pues amable, right? So we're going to start with Susie. Como rechazo, Susie, a ver. 
Okay, maybe next time or maybe another time. Salud, y de ahí salud. Okay. Eh, Andrea, and then Diego. Thanks for thinking of me, but I can't. Good. <clears throat> Lo siento, amiguis. Okay, um, Diego, and then Carmen. Okay, unfortunately, it's not a good time. Good one. Carmen and Carla. I'm sorry, but I can't help with you this time. Mm -hmm. Carla and Diana. I am sorry, but I can't help you this time. Okay, I can help you this time. Diana and Carito. Thanks for thinking of me, but I can't. But I can't. Lo siento, pero salud. Carito, un nuevo cabello. I'm sorry, but I can't help you this time. This time. Okay, Marlon and Edgar. Okay, uh, sorry, but I can't make it. I can make it. <clears throat> Let's see, Edgar. Sorry, but I can't make it. Uh -huh. Sorry, but I can make it. Good. And what about Kevin? And then Helen. Sorry, but I can't make it. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, Helen and Claudia. Helen, okay. If we don't have Helen, si no tenemos Helen, vamos con Claudia. Okay, sorry, but I can, can make it. Make it, mm -hmm. okay. Make it. Good. Thank you. Sounds nice, but I'm not available. Available. Available is disponible. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I can help you this time. Unfortunately, it is not a good time. Maybe next time or maybe another time. Sorry, but I can't make it. Uh, thanks for thinking of me, but I can't. So imagine if a person says, uh, would you like to go to the cinema this Friday? Uh, sounds nice, but I'm not available. Por ejemplo, cuando le, le salen ahí, pues, en el trabajo, algunas propuestas a Danita, vamos a comer cosas. Alex. <laughs> ah, well, Alex, okay. Uh, y si nos vemos para ir por un licuado. I'm sorry, but I can't help you this time. Se le decían, Carito, vamos, te voy a pagar el tratamiento del cabello. Maybe next time, maybe another time. Cuando le dicen, um, ¿quién más? A lo mejor, bueno, le dicen a, a Diego, let's go to a, a reggaeton concert. Thanks for thinking of me, but I can't, right? If some, if any person says to Carla, let's go to drink some tequila. Unfortunately, it's not a good time. But that Carla, see the same, that Carla. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, let's. Okay. So uh, these are like different forms to say no in a polite way. Now that we are here, and uh, what do you like most? about your job and what do you like least list es como lo más y este es list lo menos eso significa verdad pues dice, what do you like most about your house puede ser qué es lo que te gusta más de tu casa mm, i like uh, the kitchen or the living room it's wide es amplia or what do you like uh, least about uh, your house you can say um I don't like that, that I don't have a garden or I don't have a garage. There are different forms. So, but in this time we're talking about job because uh, if you're working it's because there are some things that you really like it or love it, but there are some other that maybe mm, you don't like it. Maybe you can't stand, quizá ustedes pueden no soportarla, or um, definitely it is not good for you. But before this, we're going to uh, check the attendance list. Just give me a second. Okay. Um, Ana Mercedes. 
I think she's not here to talk in Saka. Andrea. I'm here. Okay, thank you for remembering me. Or for reminding me. So, Carmen. Present. Hello, um, Claudia. Present. Hello, Carito. It's me. You, Christian Alberto, I guess he's not here yet. Okay, Alex, I know that Alex is over there, so he's not here. Just to integrate me. Diana. Hello, Dianita. Present. Present. Diego. Present. Thank you. Dorita. No. No, Dora. Edgar. Present teacher. Thank you. Helen, I know Helen is over there. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. From Carla. Present. Thank you. Kevin. Well, uh, he's going to appear. Marlon. Present teacher, sorry. Thank you, Kevin. Marlon. <clears throat> Present. Nice. Susie. Present. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to, to start with what do you like most about your job and what do you like less about it? And what if we start with Claudia? Claudia, are you ready with your answer? Or you need time? Uh, tiempo, Claudia? Are no, ahorita. Already, okay, perfect, go ahead. Um, what I like the most about my job is, is. the, is the, ¿cómo se dice? Entrevista, no sé, intervice, así, interview. Interview. Interview, interview or interview, interview, interview. Mm -hmm. Interview with the new staff. Ah, interview with the new staff, you like that, a ti te gusta eso. Okay, and what do you like least? ¿Qué te gusta menos? Mm. ¿Cómo se puede decir? Salary. Cuando hay... Uh, <laughs> or I don't know, no, you tell me. Uh, cuando hay temporada baja, de que mm -hmm. tiene que haber despidos, entonces... Ah, parte the, 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 there are fires. Firing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, cuando decimos uh, hire, es contratar. Fire, uh -huh. es despedir. Okay. okay la la uh, firing parte. season. Temporada de despido, fire and season. Ah, yes, yes, because uh -huh. there are too, too many people working in there. Okay, not necessarily. Yes. Not all of them are necessary because of the demand for the demand. Okay, thank you. Thank um, you. what about Dianita? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. Uh, what I like most about my job is to ask for a product, and when I get paid. Yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. And, That's the best day of, uh, of the month. <laughs> <laughs> and what I don't like is there are no storage, no short days. No sé cómo se dice eso. Shortage. O sea, no haya producto. Uh, uh -huh. Shortage, yes. So, Escasez. Mm -hmm. eso. There is a shortage or shortage of products, and that's a problem for you. Because the clients and uh, are demanding the product, and it's you are problem. you are the, the, you are like the face of the enterprise. So you are Diana. Okay, what's wrong there? So yeah. that's it. And yes, <laughs> but that's not your fault. No es tu, no es tu culpa. Culpa. Mm -hmm. no, it's not your fault. But definitely, there is something that is not good. Is maybe, uh, well, irritable. It is well, no, definitely not good. Thank you, Danita, for your honesty. Okay, Danita, mujer, así, un sabor, honestos. Okay, what about um, Carmen? Tell me, Carmen. Uh, uh, or what I like the most is being being able to help people in need. What yes. I like the least is the bureaucracy. 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 <clears throat> yes, a Carmen works with veterans from yeah. Civil War, right? Yeah. And, and, and Carmen works with, uh, they are uh, like old, uh, well, elder, and they need a lot of the basic uh, needs, right? Especially uh, like income 
un ingreso. So Carmen helps, uh, she works with that trabajo con veteranos de guerra. A really nice job. So bureaucracy limits some processes. So people are affected because they don't receive the benefits, right? What sí. are you fighting for? De los que tú estás peleando y todo eso. Yes. Sí. I understand your feeling. Okay, thank you. So uh, that's it. What about if we, if we go now with Edgar? Are you ready, Edgar? Yes, teacher. Please. Uh, la dos o solo una? Uh, if you can both, please. Si puedes la, la dos, por favor. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like my job uh, because it's near to my, to my house and that I am in various positions in I learn more. Okay, so the distance, uh, you, you like the distance because it's, it's uh, mm -hmm. very close and you can work in different positions. So you're learning from different areas, right? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, definitely that is good. Yeah. And what about the things that you don't like? Yeah. Uh, what I don't like is the salary. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, yes, we are great. <laughs> the vacation and cannot hear music or, or eat. And mm -hmm. that it is a little boring in some days. Yes, you told me, yeah, you told us, no contaste, you told us the last time that you can hear or listen to music. And that's so important, I need in my case, I need to listen to music, right? Uh, at least for a while, al menos por un momento, in the morning, the afternoon, and that gives you energy, the energy, okay? Thank you for telling me. Yes, and re related to salary, maybe uh, <laughs> most of us can say almost the same. Well, yeah. well, <laughs> no, kidding, bromas. Okay, thank you, Edgar. Now, um, Ed, uh, Diego, are you ready? Yes, I am, teacher. Please. Go ahead. Okay, I think all my classmates, or at least more, most of them, are going to agree with me because definitely paydays are the things that I love about my job. Yes, paydays. <laughs> Carita, no, a I lot just, of money. She goes. I just kidding. I just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I really like to talk with my clients and negotiate payments after debt and give them the opportunity to clean their credit record. But what I really like to do is search information of the clients who never been contacted before. And I love it because I use some tools for that. And this one always take a long, a long time. Sorry. No, no problem. A long time and it's a lot of concentration. Besides when I'm busiest, it, time feels like flies. And the thing that I like least is when the program that we use to make calls Dial again the clients with whom I had already spoken because they get mad and I have to figure it out telling them that I forgot to update their personal information. So they perhaps think that that I'm not doing a, a good job. Mm -hmm. Or not mm -hmm. a complete job as, as exactly. you should. Yes, and they argue, right? And when they it start happens, to... I, I'm, I'm really ashamed. Yes. Yes, and that is something that happens with clients. They argue, so they start like no, uh, like a claim, complain. Esa palabra es importante, complain es quejas. Uh, so they can start complaining with, with your performance. But even uh, there are some clients, maybe they're, they're like patients, they are really polite, so amable, but some other type of clients that are really difficult. Yeah. Yes. yes. The uh, most are, are very difficult, but. Mm -hmm. So that happens, but I, I consider that you're a detailed person. I don't know if you're obsessive, I guess no, but you pay attention to detail, yes. right? Yes, I am. Okay, so, okay, uh, you are so, but that helps you at work. That's an important, important quality yes this is the reason why i i get mad when when it happens because it's is fault of the program and not not no, mine not yours definitely okay. exactly. thank you Diego. thank you sure. for 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 uh outlining uh highlighting sorry the highlander 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 
Uh, I was going to say that highlight that the paydays are the best ones. No, come on. And we have also, um, Carla, are you ready? Um, what I like the most is the knocklet that's one that has of each thing since win winner and the girl are practically um bottle story. What I don't like is that when they change she the story. Okay, thank you, Carla. <clears throat> we sometimes are accustomed to a uh, team, as you say, if you're like when they change stores, maybe because you have like process, you know how to do things. And when they change, uh, it is like you start beginning again, como que comienzas a, a trabajar nuevamente en esa área. So yeah, that, that is something that maybe can be not so good for you, okay? Thank you. And then we're going now with um, Marlon. Okay, Marlon, tell me your sins. Confesate los pecados, a ver. Of course. Uh, uh, I, I like most about my job, teacher. Uh, when, I, when I am in a project, in the vacations, um, I like the... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice ambiente laboral, teacher? Environment. Work, uh -huh. environment. work environment. Mm -hmm. O job environment. Job environment, work environment. Mm -hmm. you, you get along or get along es eh, llevarse bien. That's it. You get along with, with, with your colleague. Que va bien. Of course, of course. Okay. I get along with my colleagues. Uh, but I I like least about it is um, when when we when we are uh, when we are in some stages that we cannot give an answer to our clients and we have to 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 wait uh, only for for an opinion of a, of, of of my boss. Mm -hmm. and, and we cannot give an answer. I don't like that. And I think uh, sometimes we are mm, dependent, too dependent. We are mm, too much dependent. And eh, algo así sería, es, que es cuando de verdad estamos en alguna temporada alta mm -hmm. y tenemos que ir para cualquier detalle, estar consultando, consultando. A veces somos yes. demasiado dependientes de eso. Entonces, eso es lo que no me gusta. And that happens, and something that it is not productive is that clients or customers are always uh, asking, demanding for the answer. Quieren una respuesta. They they have like to do the things faster, hacer las cosas más rápido. So that's a process that limits you, right? Los limita bastante. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you, Marlo, for telling me that. And that's good when you get along with your colleagues or your work team or uh, your job environment, that's one of the best things. Una de las mejores cosas cuando nos llevamos bien con los compañeros de trabajo. But, or however, there are some difficult colleagues. It is, uh, you feel that the days uh, like last more, duran más, se tardan más. So that's, yeah, that, that is something that has happened to me. Okay. Here we have a conversation. So I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to uh, look at this. Para que vean eso y después me tomen me dicen. Okay, Andreita. Mm -hmm. We can send a new uh -huh. computer. Antes que se te olvide. 
Ok, sí. good. Ya te vi la carita. Ok, fine. Diana, con esa seriedad. Vamos a ver, Danita. Sobre. No me acuerdo. Ah. Lo estaba leyendo solamente. Lo siento, okay. I'm sorry. Ok, esa seriedad dije, wow, so concentrated. Qué concentrada esta mujer. Ok, no problem. Ok, Edgar. Eh, si no mal recuerdo, ya habíamos visto una conversación parecida a esta. A o sea, similar, como... yes. A similar. No. Solo me acuerdo de María Ochoa y algo que decía de, por favor, uh, please describe the problem. Hmm. Please describe the problem. Thank you. Claudia. Mm, decía, let me send. Thank you. You are welcome. My name is Maria Ochoa. Okay, thank I'm you. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Carito and Carmen. I complained for, mm -hmm. algo así. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Carito. Mm -hmm. mm, eso, teacher. No, no. <laughs> Carmen. I was very slow yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Slow, como lento. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Carmen. And Susi. Let me send someone. Oh, good. Nice. Marlon? Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, please describe the problem. Yes, good, good. Thank you. Carla? We can send on the computer. Okay, good. And Helen, hello, good evening, Helen. Hello, teacher. Okay, uh, everything uh, okay? Todo bien? Todo bien. Thank you. Good. Tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, about my work computer. Okay, thank you. And what about Diego? Uh, did you have the opportunity to check Diego? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, what did you say? I remember, see? let me see someone with a complaint form. Okay, let me see someone with a complaint form. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Complaint is queja, ¿verdad? Es queja. Complaining, eh, complaint también es quejarse, ¿verdad? Pero es el verbo, ¿verdad? Complaint form. Así que se está, que, se está quejando, Marillita. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. It's being common. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling in the call center. So here we have Maria. Hello, my name is Maria Choa, and I need to file a compliant about my work terminal. That is a computer. The terminal, the terminal, the terminal can be cell phones, it can be devices, yeah, it can be computers. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Um, it was it was very slow, bastante lento. It was como mi computadora. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on. Turn on it, it's in there, right? It didn't es didn't es el don't como decir don't pero en pasado. Entonces por eso no encendió hoy. Let me send someone with a compliant form. We can send a new computer in no time. Okay, thank you, you are welcome. So we're going to have like a, a, a short uh, practice here. Carito, you're going to be Maria, and Mike is going to be Edgar, por lo menos hasta aquí, hasta la mitad. Okay, Mike, you start. Okay, uh, thank, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and and I need you to fill a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Okay. And now we'll go with Maria. That is going to be Carmen. And Mike is going to be Diego. Okay. It was very slow yesterday. And I did didn't turn on today. Okay, let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. So you can you can see here that this girl is describing the problem. File compliant is eh, como cuando se presenta una queja, una denuncia. Okay, so file, a compliant of the file, sabemos que es archivo también, pero file, ya como verbo, es presentar a, un, una queja, compliant, ¿verdad? Es, es quejas. Entonces, here we have this, it's a, a brief, a brief, um, like call, uh, technical support, and uh, like having a brief solution. Teniendo una solución bien breve, que es, let me uh, send someone with a complaint form. We can send new computer in no time, okay? So that's the point to have, uh, well, Diego who works with, uh, with calls, uh, he knows that you have like a short period of time to solve problems, okay? Because you are working, right? And you need a result or you need an answer quickly. Necesitan una respuesta siempre, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando, cuando pedimos algo, es como cuando se nos va eh, el internet, se nos va la luz, and some other things. We need to, eh, we need it back. Lo necesitamos de regreso. Okay, please have a screenshot, and then we're going to practice a little bit. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to um, check some of you here. You can have like a, pueden darle una revisada, a quick review. Okay, see you in a couple of seconds. Hello, Helen. Hello, teacher. Bien, vamos otra vez con todos los poderes ahí. Ay, esa es trampa ya. No, ni modo. Así es, es la vida. Para eso. <risa> ok. Eh, ok. Mm, sí, voy a compartir pantalla. Ok. Yo soy Mike. Comienzo. Ok. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I knew to file a complaint about my work terminal, computer, I see. Yes, computer, terminal, mm -hmm. computer. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. Please describe the problem. 
It was very slow yesterday. I is dear. Dealing is turn on. Uh, turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Bien, cambiamos ahora. Okay. Thank you for learning. Thank you for Kali's the departments. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send some why which uh, complaint for we can send a new company in new time. In that time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, excellent. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Te veo otro momento. Okay, gracias. Okay, um, here we have some uh, questions, easy questions, and some of you are going to help me. Okay, Andreita, you go number one. Could you read it, please? What expression does Mike to use show a solution in progress? Mm -hmm. Use mm -hmm. to show solution. Pro okay, let's see the expressions. Okay, tell me the expression that you notice uh, that Mike uses. Mm -hmm. mm. Las expresiones, ¿qué, teacher? Uh -huh. ¿Qué expresiones usa Mike to show para mostrar solution in progress? En el progreso. Uh -huh. O en progreso. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo uh -huh. solventa? ¿Cómo, cómo, qué, ves, ¿Qué frase ves que él dice para empezar a solventar? Uh, we can send a new computer in no time. Yep, that's, that's uh, something that, that is a, a solution. Also, Send, send someone, send someone, mm -hmm. send someone mm -hmm. and send a, a new computer. Okay, part of the solution that is going to be like a, in a, a couple of, of minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, now here we have number two. And we're going to have a Marlon. What seems? Sorry, what seems to be the problem with the computer? Mm -hmm. mm, uh, I think uh, the computer was very slow yesterday and well, it didn't slow. Turn, turn on today. Yes, it didn't turn on. Um, okay, so thank you, that's it. Uh, slow and didn't turn on, okay. Kevin and Diego, did you have some problems with friends? <laughs> Yeah, teacher. 
we were talking when when time was over. Okay, no problem. We're going to to have like a similar activity with this conversation, but we're going to change some aspects. Vamos a cambiar una cosa, okay? Okay, okay. So, you relax. We're going to continue what you like most about your job and what you like least about it. So, for this, uh, we're having Andrea. Okay, Andrea, tell me. And after Andrea, we're having um Carito. Okay. I like the most are the benefits and that they help us to improve ourselves professionally. In addition, I love the departure time and the time to pay. Yes. El Basil. Yes, definitely the, it is like sometimes we have uh, time, right, to to share with, with, with uh, colleagues that it is very common that colleagues become friends, ¿verdad? Los colegas convierten en amigos, and that's, that's wonderful. Okay, um, we have also Carito, right? And after Carito, Helen. Okay. Like most of all, my, my job is that when I read, I see everything that is so. And on Friday, day, it's time to go. Okay, time to go to after office. Yes. And I don't like is not having inventory of the product. Wow, but that's if you notice it is related to the merchandise or the product, but not related to your bosses, not related to your colleagues or yourself. It is if you have more product, you will have like a better a better development. Tendremos mejor desarrollo en el trabajo, right? No problems. No, no claim. Okay. Ninguna queja, verdad? No complaints. And, I consider that nobody, nobody likes complaining. Nadie le gusta que se estén quejando, right? That's it. Especialmente, especially when we are not guilty, cuando no tenemos la culpa, right? Okay, thank you. Teacher, mm -hmm. me faltó la otra pregunta. ¿Y qué pasó? No sé, estaba pensando en otra cosa. Lo ves sin día. La Susi tiene amor, la culpa. La muerte en el aire, solo tiene que respirarlo. La emocioné. La, la Susi tiene la culpa, sí, ella tiene la culpa. Ah, es alguien del trabajo. Okay. Vaya. Uh, well, it is far from my house. I have to get up early and now to arrive on time. And that I arrive at my house at night. Wow. How much time does it take you to travel from your house to the job? One mm. hour, two hours? Two hours and a half. Wow, yes, that's a lot of time. Two hours yes. and a half. When you go and when you return, this the same, two hours and a half. Five yes. hours, cinco horas. In five hours, you can you can do a lot of things, but hacer muchas cosas. A lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So that that that's uh, something that it's a disadvantage. Thank you, Andrea, for decirme tus pecados. Helen. Hello. Hello there. Are you ready, Helen? Yes. Okay, and then Kevin. Um, the learning that I have very died with my company and from consumer we learn. Okay. What I don't know like. Um, inventory sensor is coming. A school shield. Reader recipients is complicated on their the start the doctor letter. Okay, okay, uh, that, that's a question that they, I think everybody has. Una yes. pregunta. Doctor's handwriting. Handwriting is eh, la escritura. Doctor's handwriting, la letra de los doctores. Yes. Is it on purpose? Is a propósito? Or not? Or no. Or it's it's a lo hacen para que nadie lo lea, or it's because they can write well, or it is because they are what? Y que a veces sí siento que a propósito lo hace. Okay, but you have learned to decipher. Ya aprendiste a descifrar esos jeroglíficos, ¿ya? Yeah? Sí. 
Yes. Wow. No, that is something that, that I detest. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Voy a defender a los médicos. Ah, ok. Go ahead. <laughs> Tenemos... Ellos no, es que no escriben así a propósito. Lo que sucede es que cuando ellos están estudiando para tomar apuntes, escriben bien rápido. Se lo digo porque por experiencia propia. Ah, you studied that. Are you studying or in the past did you study that? So that's this. No, mis papás son médicos y mi hermana es médico y así escribe. Really? No, uno sí, uno sí. Por ejemplo, acá en Sonsonate. Ah, no, los papás de Carito sí. No. No, algunos sí, pero sí. Ya, ya aprendimos bastante. Really? Sí. Sí. Okay. Bueno, pues mira, ya, ya me la asustaste, la pobre Helen, carito, relajate, mujer, relax. Yeah. Ok. Yeah. Ok. And uh, the second question, no, ya me hiciste la, la, la segunda. Helen. Yes, las dos. Ok, ok, thank you. Ok, good. When you do something on purpose, cuando hacen algo on purpose, es a propósito, on purpose. Ok. Si le preguntan a alguien. Is it on purpose? Es a propósito. Ok. Is it on purpose? O si no pueden poner. Was it on purpose? Fue a propósito. Ok. Uh, when, well, that, that's something that is really common. Is it on purpose? Was it on purpose? And Kevin, your turn, my friend. And then Alex. Okay. I like it because you do many things. I like it because it is a uh, demanding area. I like the, the environment also because como que el tiempo no se siente, como que mm -hmm. pasa. Okay, the, the time is passing by. Pasa, pasa. Mm -hmm. In addition, when, when the inventories are, we go to the different branches and it is fun. And why, and because do you learn about pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical products? Okay, that, that's fine. And uh, you learn, and sometimes, uh, similar to Helen, when, when you learn about uh, those kind of products, you can give your opinions in your family, right? With your friends, you can give recommendations, of course. Okay, so that, that's fine. Wow, that's fine. And something that you don't like, y algo que no te gusta? Is there something that you uh -huh. don't like? Uh -huh. ¿Ah? eh, no, de hecho, no. No, no, no negative points. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Good. Excellent. No te crees, Helen, pero okay, good. No, quieren. Thank Por you. Algo lo dice, algo que ella hace, cómo me maltrata. Nada más. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yo creo que ustedes se deben pisto, ustedes se fían, por eso que están. No, para okay. nada. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Alex, are you there? Yes. And then Susie. Okay. Um, what I like the most about my job is working as a team. Es trabajar en equipo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, la segunda pregunta es lo que no me gusta, ¿verdad? Yes, something that you don't like. Uh, what I don't like is living in too late. Es como salir demasiado tarde. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. uh, living your, your work to, uh, tonight, ok. Yes, that, that, that's something that, that affects, right? Andrea knows and some others that uh, they have to travel. Or maybe the, you don't travel uh, too much. Uh, well, it is not so far, but uh, the time, okay? When you finish your work hours, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Alex. And Susie, thank you. Uh, what I like most about my job is the constant training they give me about the company's brands. It is important for me. By the way, what I like the least sincerely is the schedule uh, maybe we should only work five hours a day wow <laughs> five hours okay that sounds good five hours a day and the payment like 10 hours yes and um, 
that, that is something as I, I have said before, ya lo he dicho antes, in some other countries, the working hours are not eight. No son ocho horas or nine. Or, or six, maybe, or six. Six, seven, because they, the enterprises know that if a worker or an employee gives the, the, the most effort that he or, or, or she may, may have or produce, okay? Saben que si van descansados, si dan en poco tiempo, pero trabajar más, pero en poco tiempo, so. That may happen, but that's not uh, the case of El Salvador. And, and the training, the constant training, it is wonderful. That's important. Okay, it's muy importante. Okay, because your brain is always like, well, working more than usual. Okay, so that, that's good. Okay, we're going to go now to a worksheet. Vamos a ir ahora, vamos a adelantar un poquito con un worksheet porque tengo dos grammar points. Tengo dos puntos gramaticales. So uh, I consider that you don't need to study this too much because it is easy. Use can and use could. Podemos, podemos utilizar can, que significa puedo, y could, que significa podría. But in this case, in this case, we're going to use could for expressing past actions. Vamos a utilizar could para expresar acciones en el pasado. Muchos me dicen, Teacher, pero el could es el pasado de can. No necesariamente porque no lo, los modales no tienen pasado ni presente, ¿verdad? Son como esas relaciones que se quedan en el corazón. So, could significa como podía, ¿ok? Si digo he can drive, él puede manejar. He could drive, él pudo manejar. He can't drive, él no puede manejar. He couldn't drive, él no pudo, no pudo manejar. Can he drive, puede manejar, puede él manejar. Could he drive, podía él manejar. Okay. And the answers, yes, he can, no, uh, or yes, he could, no could, could, could. And the negative answer, no, he can't, or no, he couldn't. Sabemos que el could significa podría también, pero en este caso, para no confundirnos, porque el could se utiliza para ser, to be more, to be polite, para ser como más amable. Could you give me your name? Could you tell me? Podría decirme, could you tell me your phone number? Or, y, y así. Pero en este caso, repito, porque vamos a, a unas oraciones. Can para presente, could para pasado. Ok, so. We're going to check this because this is really easy. You already know how to use it. Ya saben cómo aplicarlo. You know that this is affirmative, this is negative, and this is the question. Las tres formas principales, ¿verdad? De una oración. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Okay. Esas son las tres transformaciones que tienen. Eso. And obviously, this is part of the answer. This is part of the respuesta, pero no es una estructura gramatical así tan compleja como las otras. Okay. Sigan su corazón. Follow your heart, and here we have this. We have 15, tenemos 15. No se preocupen de que más. Ustedes no se angustian. Okay, uh, let's see if I can. Yes, that's it. So, if you notice a word in the past, si notan una palabra en pasado, ya sea un verbo o un adverbio o algo que le dé una noción en pasado, ya sea ed, verbo to be, entonces va a ser cool. Ok. So we're going to start with Marlo. Hey Marlo. And then Dorita. Que ya se nos la parte. Hey Marlo. Ok. Uh, ok. Uh, number one. Yeah. I can go to the party. Um, no, esa creo que sería I couldn't. Yes. Tenemos I, last night, que era anoche. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go to the party last night, last night because I, I was sick. Sí, no pude ir a la fiesta de noche porque estaba enfermo. Así digo yo siempre. Yes, okay. Thank you, Marlon. Um, Dorita, que apareció la chica cumbia. Hello, Dorita. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. ¿Todo bien, Dorita? For... Yes. Ya iba con todo tranquilo, Dorita. Relax. Ok, number four. Eh, three. Ah, three. Ah. Okay. ok, three. 
my sister could swim last year, but now she. Sigue tu corazón. I, she is sick. No. <laughs> no, Verita. Ok. La primera le hiciste bien. My sister could. Ah, eh, sí. Aquí sería, ajá, my sister couldn't. Mi hermana no, no podía no, nadar no. cuando el año, el año pasado no podía nadar. But now ahora ella sí puede. So, but now she can. Can, yes, can. escribe can, pero es can. Uh -huh. Can es el gran can. Ok, so, yes, my sister couldn't, no podía nadar eh, mi hermana. Ok, y ahora ya, ya no se ahoga. Ahora sí puede. Thank you, Dorita. Okay, now we're going with Diego and Dead Kevin. Okay, the number two. Mm -hmm. mm, could Noel cook Italian food? Yes, he could. Okay, but uh, here we're not, we're talking in the present. So we should use. Uh... Mm -hmm. Could no, es como no. para el pasado, pero aquí estamos como para el presente, que sería? That's not well cooked. No, no, no. Ken. Ken. Uh -huh. Puede Ken. Noel cocinar. Can eh, Noel con... cook Italian food? Yes. Yes, he could. No, yes, he can. Yes, he can. Sí, eh, puede cocinar Noel este comida I'm, I'm italiana. Lost. Ajá. El amor. Sí, puede cocinar Noel comida me, 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 italiana. Sí, sí puedes. Ya. Okay. No te preocupes, yes. ya, yes, ya, te voy a, ya te voy a dar otra, otra oración. Para Give el, me a no. chance, please. Yes, no problem. It's the love. Va hombres enamorados así, necesita el Salvador por las, para ser fiel. Ok, Kevin, right? Kevin and yes. then Susan. Ok, number 11. 11. Excuse me, I can't hear you right now. The music is too loud. Yes, I can't hear you. Look, a veces le digo, I can't hear you. No puedo escuchar. The music is too loud. Hay mucha, mucha música. Perdón, el volumen es muy alto. Okay, who's next? Sosie, right? Uh, number then Carmen. seven. Seven. I'm very tired, so I can't go out to the park to play. Yes, no puedo ir a jugar. Soy cansadito. Okay, Carmen, and then we're going with Edgar. Number four. Four. They couldn't go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Yes, no pueden ir to shopping because the store was closed. Tuvo cerrado. Yeah, sencillo, no gastar. Edgar, and then we're going with Alex. Okay, number five. Hi. Could you read when you were four years old? Yes, yes. I. Yes, I. Corazón. Yes, I could. Yes, ya ven. Algo que sí les enseñaba es que sigan su corazón. Que okay, yes. Could you, could you read mm -hmm. when you were four years? Podías leer cuando tenía cuatro. Yes, I could. Yo podía. No le creo, but yes, I could. Okay, uh, who's next? Who's next? Mm, okay, and we go with Diana, right? Let's go with Diana and then Claudia. Okay, uh, number 12. 12. I, I, could, I could drive a truck when I was only 16 years old. Yes, yo podía manejar un camión cuando tenía... 16, como Carla. Ok. Um, Verdad, si no me equivoco, Carla es. Ok. Um, Claudia, and then Carla. Ok. Fifteen. Sixteen, no hay. Sixteen. Fifteen. Ah, fifteen, ok. Quince. Uy. Uy. I come. Ajá. Real. We have my reading glasses. Mm -hmm. Where are they? Yes, I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't can. read 
No puedo leer sin mis lentes de lectura, ¿ok? Where are they? ¿Dónde right? están? Yes, mm -hmm. ¿dónde están? Eh, Carla, then Alex. And number 10. 10. Most dinosaurs were welcome on land the sun. Um, cool? Yes. Fly, fly or fly or even swim. Even swim. Yes, most dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Walk on land, but some could fly or even swim. Thank you. Okay, Alex, you go and then Helen. And number eight. Number eight. <clears throat> yes, you go. Seria. Good. You see the moon last night. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I couldn't. Perfect. Could you see the moon last night? No, I couldn't. Okay. Um, Helen. Number eight. Number eight is taken. You can see, you can say six or nine. Nine, perdón, perdón. Okay, nine. <laughs> more. My when can? Uh -huh. I type you about the company report. Yes, cuando puedo hablarte uh -huh. acerca del reporte de la compañía. Thank you. ¿Quién se me queda? Nobody, right? Yo. Ay, ¿dónde está yo? Me. Yeah, <laughs> you really, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Six, Number 13 or 14? 14. Uh -huh. How many hot dogs can you eat at one time? Okay. Perfect, Ken. I don't know how many chorizos can you eat because chorizos are better than hot dogs, right? Maybe two or three. Uh, Diego says three. Kevin, I guess Diego four. Okay. I ate four today. Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, they're they are, they are good and they're they delicious, but yes. Yeah. Well, I usually eat two, but when I'm... I'm Really eh, hungry, I, I, I eat like three. Okay. I didn't have, no le creemos, I have breakfast pero... today. <laughs> there is but, no way. I ate four. Eight, four. So, si se que también cuatro, va, so, si. Just one. Just one. But fitness, fitness is my life. Okay. I don't know, Rick. I don't know, Rick. No lo sé. Parece, ¿eh? <laughs> Okay. Um, and what about if. Tenemos 13 and 6. I will select to Diana. Okay, Danita. 6 or 13? Okay. Sería um, 13. Mm -hmm. Douglas hit the 3 because he can stop his car. Okay. Hit es un verbo irregular, como put, hit, que no es irregular y para ponerlo en pasado no cambia, es igual. Aquí se, se usa en pasado. No parece, pero sí está en pasado. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces sería Douglas hit the tree because Gold. he would, could. Couldn't. Stop his, couldn't yes. he stopped his car. Sí, golpeó el, 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 el árbol porque no pudo detener el car. Ok, thank you. Diego, help me with number six, and we finish this. Okay, Ellie can ride a bicycle. She rides it to school every day. Yes, because it has, it's a common, uh, a common activity. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Okay. Now, and we're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, and here we have this. Getting trios. Okay, they say trios, but no more. Uh, said trios, but in pairs, better. better. Write down two more reasons to file a complaint. Entonces, vamos, aquí dice printer. Podemos escribir, eh, we have two complaints, dos quejas, eh, porque no funciona el printer. In here, you can add uh, the diff a different, you can say a stapler, a cell phone, a telephone, internet. Um, you can add another kind of uh, device or machine. Write the name of another piece of equipment at the center of the second diagram and possible complaints about it. Bien. Aquí dice, it doesn't turn on. Aquí puede ser stuck, ¿verdad? Paper stuck. 
And here uh, you can say ink, lo que habíamos dicho, ¿verdad? De la tinta. Here you add one, another uh, device or a part of equipment. It can be anything you want. You, you want. And write three possible uh, complaints. Tres este, situaciones en, en las que no funciona y por qué ustedes podrían quejar. Ok. So, uh, I don't know if you're going to, to have screenshot of this or simplemente escriben printer, printer and this. Ok. We're going to work with the same uh, pairs. Vamos a trabajar con, con los mismos, con los que estuvimos. Ok. Teacher, no entiendo. O sea, solo vamos a escribir el, o sea, el equipo. Va. Aquí, aquí va el equipo. Igual Ajá. aquí vas a escribir otro equipo. Puedes poner price marker. Ya. Y aquí, um, aquí vas a escribir eh, las otras como quejas o situaciones por qué no funciona. Ya. Solo que aquí, este es solo de la printer. Ya. Este es solo de la impresora. Y esta va a ser del otro equipo de trabajo que tú elijas, ¿ya? Ok. Sí, parecen caras. ¿no? <risa> ok, yes. okay. so you can see. Entonces, eh, eso es lo que vamos a hacer acá. Como les digo, en, en aquí, printer, aquí pueden escribir otra cosa. Pueden escribir mm, computer, eh, cell phone, eh, or, or, eh, or phone, ok. So, whatever you want, lo que ustedes quieran. Y este, como quejas. Okay. Aquí como les había puesto el ejemplo de paper stock, cuando se, se está atorado el papel, o de la tinta, ink, ok. Y aquí escriben el otro, ¿verdad? Similar a este. Ok, I'm going to give you like two minutes. I think it's enough. Es suficiente. Ok, um, so see you in a couple of seconds. No paper, no paper en el otro there is no electricity que no hay electricidad y en el otro no ink no hay tinta no ink ajá no ink no paper y no electric, electricidad pero no sé cómo se dice voy a poner ahorita uh -huh. ¿cómo estamos acá? hello girls este Oye. Con, lo, con el equipo, como va a ser en pareja. Elijan uno. Poner un equipo o un problema. Ajá, aquí va el equipo. Eh, aquí dice printer, es el equipo. Y aquí está un problema. Aquí faltan dos problemas de acá, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ahora, en el otro, ustedes elijan un, algo puede ser, uh, ajá, ca, de, de cashier machine, ¿verdad? Que puede ser una caja registradora o, o pra, quiero ver, price marker marcador de precios, o lo que ustedes quieran, aquí va el equipo en medio, y a las orillas va, va el problema que puede tener el equipo. ¿Ok? Puede ser, ajá, electric, no electricity, pueden poner no electricity, pueden poner, uh, o oh, igual esta, it doesn't turn on, no funciona. ¿Ok? Bien. Ok. Ok. Excelente. And the price market, it's ¿Cómo? broken. Uh, price market, stock with the bullet. Stop with the bullet. 
the bullet. Uh -huh. And second, Esa sería uno. Uh -huh. Not mm, sería not seem to work. Not seem to work. To work. And three, it's broken. Oh, y creo que sería broke. No estoy segura. Si dice broken, está quebrada. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces sí sería, it's broken. broken. Mm -hmm. It's broken. Mm -hmm. Esas serían las tres mías. Sería string. String. Sí, freeze screen, algo así. First screen frozen, algo así. Frozen. Mm -hmm. Screen frozen cuando se les congela la pantalla. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Perfect. Screen frozen. Es, es... Buenas clases, ¿cómo no? <risa> Fíjate que a veces se queda conmigo hasta que termina, pero a veces se acuesta temprano. ¿Quién, Andrea? <risa> Mi okay. papá. Okay. Mi papá. Uh, thank you for that information. <risa> Es que ya terminamos. Ajá. No, sí, esta, esta, esta pareja es explosiva. Un boom. Yep. yep, yes. yep, yep. No, pero me, me alegra que se llevan bastante bien. Entonces, sí. Tienen energía positiva. Le contáramos, le contáramos, pero no le vamos a contar. Mm, mm, no, I prefer not. Yo creo que mejor no. Pero qué ya bueno. se va a dar cuenta más tarde. Ok, ok. Esta mujer. Okay. That's perfect. Si yo trabajara con ustedes, creo que ustedes me malearan. Friends. No, no, no. Le decía algo cosa buena. Créanos sí. que sí. Really? Yes. Ok. La veo después. <laughs> hey, Marlon, what's up? Uh, you're alone, my friend. Bueno, me parece que estás. Te dejaron solo, Marlon. Sí, sí, sí. Lo que pasa es que ya hicimos las, las, los dos equipos con las tres posibles fallas. Ok, perfecto. Excelente. Ajá, entonces. Ok, thank you, por thank eso you. me dejaron ahí cantando, chiflando en la loma, como dice. <risa> <risa> okay, thank, thank you, thank you, Marlon. Carmen, ahí estaba el pobre Marlon llorando porque lo dejaste. Terminamos, teacher. Very fast. Yes, I know. Ahí me dice que lo dejaste chiflando en la loma. Ok. Ok. Uh, let, let's, we're going to start. Vamos a comenzar con... Um, sí. Fíjense que últimamente he notado que todo termina la, la, la actividad bien rápido. Qué bien, están avanzando. Cuando tengan otro teacher, lo, lo van a hacer trabajar más. Todo termina rápido. Ok. So, uh, let's listen to some of you. I'm going to, I need you to uh, pick one of a uh, 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 representative, un representante de cada pareja. Ok. And you tell me the, the part of equipment and de, de complaints y me, me dicen la, la, las quejas, ¿verdad? Un representante, ustedes dicen quién va a ser, ¿ok? Si no con señas se dicen y todo eso, ¿ok? So, we're going to start with Carmen and Marlon, who is going to be? Mm -hmm. Carmen, please help me. Ok, Carmen, ladies first, <laughs> vaya. Ya que lo dejaste solito. Andaba <laughs> primero. Ajá, eh, ok. Eh, the printer number one it doesn't turn on number two the paper stocks and number three the ink drank out okay perfect thank you thank you just one solo es uno thank you Carmen okay and Maro you have the other ya tenían el otro yes okay please we have the computer okay go ahead. Uh, it, it does not connect to the internet it is very slow and it can receive uh, email. 
Wow, yeah, that's a big problem. Thank you. Okay, now we go with Susie. Andrea is the equipo dinamita. Okay, so who's first? Mm -hmm. One and one. Vamos, una y una. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, printer, number one, it doesn't turn on. Number two, it wrong of, of ink. And Run number out. three, uh, it stuck the paper. Okay, thank you, uh, Susie. Uh, enterprise number number one it is no access at internet uh, number two it doesn't turn off number three i can receive calls receive calls okay no receive, receive calls thank you okay now we go with carito mm -hmm. yes uh, computer number fits the online burnet Number two, not return. Number three, is screen frozen. Okay, thank you. What about your partner? No, your partner. No, your partner. Edgar. Edgar. Sí. Please. Eh, sería el objeto price market. El problema podría ser stock in the moment. Eh, second, eh, stock in the bullet. And, and third, eh, the in run out. Ok, thank you. Creo que eso lo de price marker eh, les estresa. I think that's stressful. Yes, I, I, I can imagine. Thank you. Ok, thank you, Edgar. Uh, what about if we go with Dorita? Ok, Dorita. Photocopier. Mm -hmm. uh, no electricity. No paper. No ink. Okay, thank you. And your partner is? Helen. Helen, que se me hizo Helen, que siempre se me esconde. Ahí está. Uh, printer. Yeah. Is the same to own? No internet, no connect. Okay, thank you. Now we go with Claudia. Okay, the printer. Is solo una o los tres? Uh, three. Mm -hmm, the three. Okay. The stop the paper. The wrong out of ink. The printing is not res responding. Yeah, the printer is not responding. Okay. Good. And who's next? Can see you? Con quien estaba Claudia? With me. Diana. Ah, please, Dianita. Uh, the price market stock with the bullet not seem to work and it's broken. Okay, vamos a decirle bullet stick, verdad? Ah, okay. Porque bullet solo es bala. Okay, bullet in the head. Okay. Okay, okay Danita, violenta. Diego, your turn. I, I, sorry, teacher. No the problem. first one is about the computer. Mm -hmm. the, the screen can freeze. And the second one is the keyboard doesn't work. Perfect. What about your, client, your partner is? Kevin. Okay. <laughs> Kevin, please go ahead. Then Alex. Uh, so um, the keyboard doesn't work. And the other. Does, doesn't turn on. It doesn't turn on. Okay, thank you. And Alex, your turn. Yes, uh, cell phone. Battery is changer fast. Interior is slow. The camera does not have a good resolution. Okay, that's fine. And what about your classmates? Okay. Mm -hmm. Carla. Okay, uh, Carla. Hi. Um, I stood in the man moment. I stood the bullet and price market and then it run run out. Okay, run out. Okay, thank you. Um, I think we're finished here. Yo creo que terminamos con todo. No sé si se me queda alguien. Creo que no. I, I guess no. So. 
and we're going to continue with this. Uh, uh, believe me, this is an activity that I consider that uh, it is not necessary to do it, but maybe we can complete it later. Uh, this is a complaint form. You can say name of the complainant, uh, date, uh, home, phone number, work phone number, fax number, street address, city, email address, todo eso ustedes ya lo saben cómo llenarlo. Uh, you, you have uh, experience with this, right? It is not complicated, but that is something that is complaint information. Describe the nature of the complaint, identify the equipment in question and their problem. Pero ya lo hicieron. Okay, in the previous activity, you already did it. Ya lo hicieron. You identified the equipment which uh, doesn't work and expressed the, the problem. Ya expresaron los problemas de todo eso. So, signature of person making complaint in date. And uh, do we have a vocabulary that we, that maybe is new for us? Tenemos un vocabulario nuevo por acá. Okay, signature, sign que es firma, okay. Mm, email address, correo electrónico. So, I consider we don't have problems with this. Creo que no tenemos mayor problema con eso, ¿verdad? Está fácil de hacer. But we're going to continue, pero vamos a continuar with um, tell the best experience you have had with your friends or family. Y esto se va a poner bueno, okay. So, tell remember yesterday we were discussing about the difference between say and tell okay tell is when you um when you comment some something to someone or a group of people and when you say say is in a general form ¿verdad? por ejemplo decimos say cuando tiramos indirectas a veces verdad cuando no hay cuando están lejos la persona como quisiera comer that, that's a, a form not to express something to a directly, but when you say tell, cuando, perdón, when you tell a person, cuando le dicen a mí, como, hey, vamos a comer. So that, that's something different, okay? So we're going to start with tell. Vamos a contar, vamos a empezar contando la mejor experiencia que han tenido con sus amigos o con su familia. It's up to you. It's up, it depends on you. Depende de ustedes. Si quieren contar una experiencia súper, súper eh, bonita o traumática, it's up to you, okay? So, uh, we're going to start with uh, Andrea. Are you ready? La veo con cara de... Yes, Más que ready. I'm ready. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Más que ready. <laughs> Okay, uh -huh. my best experience was with my friends. Once after work, we meet at my house. We all cook and make tacos, about pudding. We could not miss the afternoon coffee. And that day we loved a lot. We actually had fun. The most exciting thing about his was that uh, at that time meetings, were forbidden even at work and they had forbidden you to meet but we broke the rules okay you broke the rules okay but i don't believe you that everything was so sorrow what so innocent with food and coffee <laughs> no les creo que solo café y tacos sí sí solo café y tacos tacos and Coffee, mm, it is not a, a good mix, right? <laughs> so, see, I don't think so. I don't know. So, maybe a, a beer. beer. Maybe a beer. May, okay, listen, maybe a <laughs> beer. Okay, come on. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, ahí, ahí está todo. Ahí está todo. Okay. Por eso que se les agota el producto. That's the reason you don't have product. Okay. Good. And Something that is wonderful when you have colleagues is that you have uh, like uh, good experiences, as you mentioned, and you continue talking at, 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 at the workplace. Cuando le siguen hablando en el trabajo, eso es bien, bien, bien genial, pero yo no se recuerda. Maybe you are kind of bored, está un poquito aburrido, and you, hey, te acordás, you remember when, te acordás cuando, so si se tomó tantos shots y todo eso, okay, so that's it. Ok, creo que en esa tarde, en esa velada, in that meeting, uh, there were a lot of secrets, hay muchos secretos ahí. Maybe one day we're going to 
to know them. Algún día lo Otros también. Ok, relax. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> Thank you for that information. <laughs> maybe, maybe tomorrow. Ya vamos a ver. Si la, si la He is very exciting. Ok. <laughs> ok, Susie. Sí. Thank you. Mujeres pecadoras. Ok. Sonó genial. That sounds wonderful. Okay, uh, what about if we go now with Carmen? Carmen? Okay, uh, two years ago, we went to Petapa in Guatemala with my husband and my children and a family of friends. We spent the day in the me mechanical games and at night we went to Antigua, Guatemala. Wow, Antigua is so beautiful, especially at night, right? So, and, and the weather is good. The clima is bastante bueno. Mm -hmm. So, you spend, how many days did you spend in there? Two days, three days? Two days. <laughs> Two days, okay. But you have fun in family, right? Okay. In family, two okay. family. Okay, two families, the, okay. My friends and my family, he, Es bonito, Petapa, es bonito. I don't know Petapa, no conozco. Suena como nombre de tequila, but maybe someday <laughs> I'm going to, to visit. So, es un parque de diversiones. Really? Where is it located? Near to Antigua? Está localizado eh, cerca No, in Guatemala. In the center of Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Okay, Petapa, Petapa. Okay, I'm going Mirta to... Petapa, búsquelo. Okay, thank you. Ya me tengo tarea, Carmencita. Thank you. Okay, what about if we listen to Edgar? Are you ready, Edgar? Yes, teacher. Please. Ready. Uh, my best experience has been with my family. Uh, go camping in the San Blas with my family when my dad was still alive. Uh, it was uh, been the best day I can remember. Wow, San Blas is the beach, right? Playa, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's so interesting. Spend the night on the beach, right? Go in family. Mm -hmm. And if you have that memory with your dad, that is something that you have to keep in mind like a treasure. Es un, un tesoro, you know, siempre debe recordarlo. That's part of the life. Wonderful times. Eso, esos momentos realmente geniales y mar maravillosos. Okay, I have never visited San Blas, but people say that it is one of the best beaches. Que es una de las mejores playas, me han dicho. That is really nice. Okay. Thank you, Edgar. Okay, okay, now we go with Diego. Okay, Diego? Tell me your. Okay, okay. Yeah, one of the best experiences in my life was to see Sepultura in concert at the Estadio Cuscatlán. No. Yep. I can remember. Yes. Estadio, Estadio Cuscatlán. I was there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh That's my God. The best this sound, is... the best sound that I have ever experienced in a concert. Exactly. The best exactly. one. Exactly. Now, now hear that. This was with my older brother and some of my best friends. It was really amazing. The sound quality, the ambient, the brotherhood, the friendship, and the best, their music. I can remember how much time passes since that day, but I'm sure that this was one of the best experiences of my life. Another great experience was to see the FedEx Stadium in, in Maryland, House of the Red Skins, with my older daughter. It was amazing to see how huge it is. I felt really small appreciating the magnificence of that place. Wow, I, I can imagine that that is a really big. Maybe really and, huge wow wow that that's interesting so uh, obviously you have photographs you you have some videos about it right no believe it or not i haven't okay i just i just, I just have two two photos but in in new york in the fifth avenue with my daughter okay mm -hmm. but now what uh, that's a good memory and that is something that your daughter is not going to forget believe it Believe it or not, that is something that Everyone remains in our memory, okay? Good memories, Diego. Yes. The first Thank one. you, teacher. Okay, now here we have Diana. Tenuta. Okay. Once a Christmas, we end year new or new year? New year. New year's Eve. 
Ajá. Eso. We work together as a family and I like it is because it was the only time we were all together eight years ago. That is has been complicated because little by little because we are not all and it is not possible to repeat this. Mm. I, I, I know that there are a few occasions or moments which the family is together as a whole, completa. Yes, yeah, okay. sobre todo porque, um, o sea, poco, van faltando familia, yeah. o sea, va faltando personas, mm -hmm. por una u otra razón. Mm. And, and that's why we remember when we were kids and our family stayed together in Christmas or, or, or five years ago, it's up, it's up of everybody. But uh, those are like very special moments. When the family is completed, like three or four moments in, in life, right? So you have it like a good memory. Thank you, Diana, for sharing. Gracias por compartir. Good experience, wonderful. Okay, what about if we listen now to Dorita? Are you ready, Dorita? Uh, I can hear you, Dorita. Sorry. The best family experience was the day we went to the beach and we stayed there to sleep. Wow, nice. At night, the beach is amazing. The, what, what is the name of the beach you were? Um, Dorita. El Espino. Ah, Espino, yes, yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. So, yes, the, a, a good bitch in family, I guess. Okay, yes. Congratulations, Felicia. How much time ago? Uh, I'm sorry, how long? Hace cuánto tiempo? Two years. Two years. Okay, tiene poco, está fresquito. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And now let's, uh, let's listen to Carla. Are you ready, Carla? Yes. Please go ahead. Um, then experience and that he had with a friend is the he does the first day of, of class. We met on the bus and we only some ish their ang ang and with knowing that we were playing soccer and that on this day or already inspirable and without knowing that we will spend money story. Okay. Excellent. Uh, could you repeat the place where you that you visited? El lugar que visitaron? Mucho. A lot of, okay. Uh, how many days? ¿Cuántos días? Mm, semana, una semana. Yeah, yeah that's, a good, that's a good period of time to visit different places. Okay, thank you, Carla. Perfect. Uh, me preguntan ahí cómo se dice pensar en pasado. Think es presente y thought, thought es pasado, ok? Thought es pasado. Ahí lo puse en el chat. Ok, and we're going to continue in. Uh, here we have more experiences. Tenemos más experiencias de vida. Como que estoy re rescatando sus su almas. Listening. Let's go to a listening. Ok. So we're going to have like a short practice about it. And I need you to pay attention to this. Ok. If you want to take notes, you can do it, or just to pay attention, to be concentrated and focus on focus on this audio. Okay, let's do it. Discipline is very important to have success in life. It means following. Okay. Value of discipline in a student life. Discipline is very important to have success in life. 
It means following up a set of rules and regulations and keeping pace with time. A disciplined life is a key to have success at every stage of life, be it a student or adult. Self-discipline is more important than imposed discipline. In a school, teachers and principals with the school management are responsible for maintaining discipline. At home, parents and guardians have to see whether the child is disciplined or not. Discipline in a student's life acts as the building block for success. Discipline helps us to present ourselves before others in a respectable manner. In discipline is not always the mistake at part of students, but also the part of an unorganized family. Okay, let's uh, listen again. Hey, Carmen, uh, is it clear the audio? Está claro el audio? Sí, se entiende? Uh, Carmen, I can hear you. Al, in, al inicio lo escuchaba un poco suave, pero después se mejoró. Okay, okay, thank you. Let's listen again. Value of discipline in a student life. Discipline is very important to have success in life. It means following up a set of rules and regulations and keeping pace with time. A disciplined life is a key to have success at every stage of life, be it a student or adult. Self-discipline is more important than imposed discipline. In a school, teachers and principals with the school management are responsible for maintaining discipline. At home, parents and guardians have to see whether the child is disciplined or not. Discipline in a student's life acts as the building block for success. Discipline helps us to present ourselves before others in a respectable manner. In discipline, it's not always the mistake at part of students, but also the part of an unorganized family. Okay, uh, let's uh, listen to some opinions about this. Uh, let's start with Helen. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué captaste, Helen? ¿Qué palabras? What words did you identify? ¿Qué palabras identificaste? A student. Ah, okay, A student. Family. Okay, student, family. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Hmm? Organize. Mm -hmm. Good. And uh, order. Yes. Um, discipline. Okay, thank you. Quiero que dijo como mil veces discipline. Okay, thank you, Helen. <laughs> right. Uh, Alex and then Claudia. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, discipline. In discipline. A student. Okay. Y otras cosas, pero no las puedo anotar. Okay. Otras cosas, pero no se las puede decir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for being honest. Uh, okay. Um, Claudia. Okay. Uh, discipline is more import, important and responsibility. Discipline in student play in an ordinary family. Okay, yeah, thank you, Dorita and Carmen. At home, regulation in discipline, success, organization, family, important. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Dorita. Carmen and Susie. Uh, discipline on a student life. A student or, or jobs, it, the discipline is important at student or jobs. More important, discipline, building block success, school management in discipline, ordinary family. Okay, yes. Okay, we're going to continue because we have just uh, 12 minutes, so nos quedan 12 minutos, but we're going to listen again to this pronunciation and 
uh, let's uh, follow this reading. Okay, let's see. Yes, I guess it, it is. And value of discipline in student life. Listen. Value of discipline in a student life. Discipline is very important to have success in life. It means following up a set of rules and regulations and keeping pace with time. A disciplined life is a key to have success at every stage of life, be it a student or adult. Self-discipline is more important than imposed discipline. In a school, teachers and principals with the school management are responsible for maintaining discipline. At home, parents and guardians have to see whether the child is disciplined or not. Discipline in a student's life acts as the building block for success. Discipline helps us to present ourselves before others in a respectable manner. Indiscipline is not always the mistake at part of a student, but also the part of an unorganized family. Okay. Ese de remember, ese ya no tenía porque realmente es, no es part como del speech. Okay. So, um, Diego, there is, is there something that uh, got your eye or got your attention? Uh, yes, there is some, some word, but I can. I can find it again. Okay, okay, no, no problem. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Kevin, do you have like a, a paragraph or, or a short line that got your attention? Algo que captó tu atención? Yes, uh, self-discipline. Ah, yeah. Self -discipline. Yes, I got it. It's the same. Self-discipline is more important than imposed discipline. Imposed what discipline. discipline. Sorry. Yes, that's it. Uh, if you have self-discipline, you can do whatever you want, okay? Because you have order, you have objectives uh, and clear objectives. But if you're imposed, it's like you have uh, pushed to do something, okay? So that's no natural, okay? Thank you. This is part of the 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 speech, verdad? Pequeño discurso, discurso de este de esta clase. Value of discipline in student life. Eh, creo que la mayoría capta ahora más palabras y me alegra. Um, I consider that some of you understand more well um, a specific type of pronunciation de todas las pronunciaciones que les he dado que son varias, son varias. Creo que hay algunas. Uh, there are some that are like you, you uh, listen to them like clearly, como que las escuchan con claridad. Y hay otras que les son más, eh, son diferentes, ¿verdad? El acento y la pronunciación. Pero ese es el punto, de escuchar de diferentes tipos. No, no solo el teacher, de los compañeros, sino que diferentes. Ok, nueve minutos, nine minutes. So we're going to what, uh, tell uh, the best experience you have had with your friends and family. So to start this time, we're going with Susie. Ok, Susie. Okay, you know, I told the same that Andres history, but I tell you another ah, the, experience the second with part. my family. Ah, la no, parte dos, no, vas no. a decir. No, no, no. The destroyer time. I tell no. you another experience with ah, my okay, family. okay, another, okay. Okay, the another best experience I have is with my brothers. Once we went to Balboa Park and we played bike races. Join challenge and things like that without job or an unforgettable experience. No sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. Unforgettable. 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 Okay, experience. Okay, nice. Ahora que es unforgettable, hay una canción de YouTube que se llama Unforgettable Fire. That, that's a good one. Okay, so see, so uh, Balboa Park is near my house. Bueno, más o menos cerca de la casa. So, yes, it's wonderful. You can do a lot of things there. And it is good that you were a kid. Estabas pequeñita, right? No. Uh, yeah, that's another part. 
that's another extension of Menen <laughs> Diego, ya lo vemos. Ajá, Diego. <laughs> okay, uh, Susie, how old were you? Oh, ¿Cuántos años tenía? ¿O hace cuánto? Uh, two years ago. Oh, uh, you were with, with your kid? No, only brothers. Oh, the brothers. Good time with brothers. Amazing. Uh, fue gra grateful or the wonderful, no sé. Yeah, grateful, wonderful. Y a veces, sometimes we have that only one time or twice in the life. A veces son como momentos así. Okay, you keep in mind que lo que lo guardas. Okay, good. Uh, related to Diego's participation, El San Cudero, it's a dark place in that park. Es un lugar muy oscuro, muy tenebroso. No lo conozco. I don't know that, but a lot of people talk about it. Mucha gente habla sobre eso. So maybe one day. De pasar de no, 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 no. Maybe one day. And when I have the complete information, I'm going to tell you. Cuando tenga toda la información, ahí les digo. Okay, no problem. Okay, and now let's listen to Carito. Carito, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Please. The best experience I have had was when I took my children to the Aurora Zoo in Guatemala. When I say the expression on the, their face when they meet many animals, they that they only shot in a photograph. That day was great. Yes, when you see the expressions of happiness or oh, they are overwhelmed cuando van sorprendidos, that's something that you say that's worthy. Como que vale la yes. pena. ¿Verdad, Carita? Yes. 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 That, that's it. Yes. It's true. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kevin, are you ready, Kevin? And then Marlon. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Okay. There are many good moments with my family, but one that is funny to remember is when we went to Lake Guatepeque and we were there all day fishing, although we did not catch anything, but <laughs> we had a good time. Okay, yes, would you share? And even you were like, what? The, the, the most important is uh, when you're going to that trip, cuando van al viaje, that's like the, the most interesting part, like, and you were like laughing, kidding, bromeando, and all those things. So I'm sorry that you didn't catch anything. No atraparon nada. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but yeah, you have like a good memory for you. Thank you. Marlon and then Helen. Okay, Marlon. Uh, of course. Um, I think the best experience have been with my family. But I can tell, I can tell you about a great experience or some great experience with my friends. Um, we can talk about the Iron Maiden concert in Costa Rica. Wow. Uh, we can talk about uh, a lot of concerts. <laughs> and Could you mention of... one one that you remember a lot? Like, oh, grateful. Uh, let me tell you Halloween and the first one, the first yeah, the time. First time. Was, the first time. In the first time. The first time. Yes, I was a part of the staff. Uh, I have the, yeah, I, 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 I uh, como decirle, in fact, I talked. You met, with, lo conociste. Yeah, What? I talked with Andy Derris. Andy we Derris, the, the, the singer, yeah, the front yeah, man. Yeah, then he can, uh, he can speak Spanish really well. Yeah, <laughs> and we were talking about 10 minutes uh, after the, Concert. Marlon, and do you so, have photographs with Andy Derry? Um, with, no, no, I, I haven't. I I remember I haven't no cell phone, but uh, but I have but I have a photo a photo with Kay Hansen uh, on my Facebook. Guitar, yes, when. yeah. But, but there that was another concert. Yeah, the, 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 the first concert. Uh, Kay Hansen was not here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was not part of that. The tour. first. The first concert was only Halloween. Only the, Halloween. The, and then the Gamma Ray. Con, with Gamma the Ray. second concert was with Gamma Ray. Gamma Ray. Mm -hmm. and, and then I had the, the photo with, with Kay Hansen and Hango Richter. Yeah, and so I have great moments in, in, in my life of being uh, 
Uh, rockstar. A, a rockstar. <laughs> yes. no, I don't know. A, 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 rock, a rock lover can. Yes. Can say. Yes. And there are so so many stories that I can tell you. Yeah, there are a lot. Are... You can you can <laughs> teach a class. Well, there are no classes. <laughs> there, there there are so, so many uh, great moments that I have been uh, uh, with my friends. And, but but the best experience, uh, I think it's with my family too. Oh, okay. So I, I think there are some most private, I don't yeah, know. Private uh, moments, and, memories. Yeah, and, and, there, and there are different moments. Yes, that's it. So with, with my friends have been crazy moments. Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> we were yeah, drunk, drunk, we were uh, ah, yes. uh, smoking. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> I am with. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Marlon, just a question. Um, is Andy Derry's short a bajito Andy Derry? Uh, no, no, no. It uh, looks no, no. like uh, like that. It looks like, but, because remember they are uh, German, German. Yeah, German the guys. rest of them are mm -hmm. very tall. Yeah, 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 they are many. They are very tall, uh, but uh, he isn't. Uh, he's a twins. short. Mm -hmm. Short. He's a short. He is about. Uh, one un metro y como un, un yes. ochenta por ahí sí yes. cercano a mi estatura por ahí oh, okay okay mm -hmm. thank you for 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 your experiences man i know that you have a lot to say but maybe we can <laughs> we can do another activity about it because some of you have a lot of experiences and what about helen thank you marlo helen are you ready you're welcome okay mm -hmm. the best experience with my family the birth of my children Okay. The support, joy, by J use unique Sussex. There are many more experiences. Yes, I think with, with kids are the best experiences. So thank you, Helen. And I think you are a really good mom. Creo que eres una buena madre. Thank you, Helen. And Claudia, we finish with Claudia. Ah, and Alex. Okay, Claudia, are you ready, please? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, Claudia and Alex, si lo podemos decir con, en un minuto, 30 segundos, pues, y nos okay. vamos a dormir. The, my best experience was visit Guatemala okay. with my boyfriend and friends. Uh, and some of us got is Antigua Guatemala after we had to communicate by phone to meet again. Okay, that, that's interesting, Antigua. Yes, and Guatemala is one of the most uh, amazing countries that I have ever visited. Thank you, Claudia. Very romantic. Okay, Alex, you go. Uh, yes, the best experience was you been from helicopter. Helicopter? How is this helicopter? Helicopter, yes, helicopter. helicopter in the Trolla River mm. when I was part or the army force. You were part of the army force. You were. Yes. Sí. Really? Yes, yes. What a surprise. Este pertenece a la fuerza armada. Pórtense bien. No, pertenece. Yes, I know that in the past. Okay. <laughs> yes, wow. Well, yes. You don't look like but But thank you for telling me. Yes. Gracias por, por, por contarnos. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Okay, my friends. Uh, the time passed by. Flying. Pasó volando. Eh, no voy a, I'm not going to check the attendance list. Iba pasando la lista, pues cuando me iban participando. Solo recordarles que please, please, please eh, finish the homeworks and the final test. Terminen las tareas, lo que no han hecho, y el final test, el examen final, hoy. Porque si no, lo van a tener que hacer mañana. And I prefer you to finish today or tomorrow morning, o mañana en la mañana. Okay? So see you tomorrow. My friends, have a good night. Claudia se me queda. Good night, everybody. Bye, bye. Okay, Claudia. So, uh, is there a topic that uh, you would like to 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 study? Hay un tema que a ti te gustaría pues estudiarlo o repasarlo?
Vamos a ver. Más que todo, teacher, eh, donde hay veces tengo más duda es, por ejemplo, de cuando el presente simple, ese sí me quedó bien claro, uh -huh. pero cuando, digamos, cuando es, ¿cuál es el otro presente simple? El otro sería el, cuando hablamos del pasado. Vaya, aunque el pasado no lo hemos estudiado, lo único que me dio revisado es el CUD. ¿Será uh, eso? Ajá. Ok, ok, vale. Bien, eh, el pasado lo van a ver más adelante, ¿verdad? Porque es un poquito uh -huh. más complejo, pero en este caso eh, tenemos acá el... Sorry, yes. Bien, tengo acá el Ken y el could, ¿vale? Este can eh, significa poder. Yo puedo, tú puedes y todo eso, ¿verdad? Could eh, significa dos cosas. Significa podría, pero en este caso es podía. Podría y podía. Ya en este caso es podía. Entonces, si digo I can drive, yo puedo manejar. O puedo decir I could drive. Yo podía manejar. ¿Ya? En tu caso, Claudia, can you drive? ¿Puedes manejar? Yes or no? Más o menos. More or less. No oh, mucho. You can say, I can't drive. Puedes manejar. Pero uh -huh. si dices, I can't drive, aquí ve, I can't, está diciendo que no puedes. I can't. No puedes manejar. ¿Ok? Ahora, si digamos que... Eh, Ahora sí puedes, digamos que puedes. Entonces uh -huh. puedes decir lo siguiente. I couldn't drive last year. No podía manejar el año pasado. But now I can't drive. Pero ahora yo puedo manejar. Uh -huh. ¿Sí queda más claro ahora con esto? Sí. Ok, ahora con las preguntas. Uh -huh. Si te pregunto, can you drive? Te pregunto, ¿puedes manejar? Can you drive? Y tú vas a decir, yes. I can. Yes, I can. Ok, yes, I can. Vamos otra vez. Can you drive? Yes, I can. Yes, yes, I can. Ok, perfecto. Ahora, digamos que te pregunto acerca del año pasado. Uh -huh. Could you drive? Last year, ¿podías manejar el año pasado? Could you drive last year? Y tú vas a decir, no. No. I could. Couldn't. Ah. Couldn't. No, vale. I couldn't. Yes. Vale, te voy a explicar algo. Could. Se pronuncia así. ¿Ya? Could. Así se pronuncia. Could. I could. Ahora, para el negativo. Si quieres, puedes copiar eso. Uh -huh. Porque esto es importante. Porque a veces uno se le olvida. Porque sí. la, la O no se pronuncia ni la L. Sino que se dice could o couldn't. Uh So, tenemos eso del could y couldn't, uh -huh. eh, que a veces pues nos confunde un poquito. Ahora vamos a revisar un par de ejercicios, ¿ok? Con el could y el couldn't. Bien, ahora, algo que te quiero comentar es que nos vamos a fijar cuando veas alguna palabra que en la oración que se relacione al pasado, por ejemplo. Was. 
last year? Yesterday. Red. Todas esas palabras que te hacen mención en el pasado quiere decir que vas a utilizar, ya sea, vas a utilizar, ya sea could o couldn't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y cuando veas palabras que, te, que se relacionen con el presente, por ejemplo, now, every day, uh, o aquí ve, que aquí ninguna palabra está en pasado. ¿Ya viste? Ninguna uh -huh. palabra ajá, está en pasado. Entonces, pues, es como que bastante fácil. Permíteme. Ok. Um, y así es. Ahora, necesito que me elijas unas cuantas. Porque solo nos quedan como dos minutos. Si te das cuenta, esto pasa pero volando. Mira, uh -huh. Claudio. Ok, dime, eh, vamos a trabajar tres oraciones. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál me podrías decir? Por ejemplo, este, dubla, el número 13, Douglas High de Three Because. Ah, vaya, vaya. Sí. Uh -huh, uh -huh, vaya. Aquí te voy a explicar lo siguiente. Hay verbos como hit, que son verbos irregulares. Cuando uh -huh. los pones en el pasado, los escribís igual. Ya. Yeah. Hit y put. Hit es golpear y put es poner. Entonces, ahí este, es una cuestión se trata de, de encontrarle la lógica. Uh -huh. Porque ahí se refiere al pasado. Uh -huh. Entonces, sería Douglas uh, hit the tree. Douglas golpeó el árbol. Porque, because he de tener el carro. Because he, ¿cuál crees que sería? Because he. Sería could. Couldn't, negativo. Couldn't. Uh -huh. Él golpeó el, el árbol porque él no pudo detener el carro. Uh -huh, no uh -huh. pudo detener el uh -huh. Ok, vamos a otra. Esas son de las más difíciles porque las otras son algo fáciles, pero esas sí están muy uh -huh. complicadas. Uh -huh. Vamos con otra. Uh -huh. La nueve. Ok, vamos a ver. Bueno. Buen cool. Vaya, aquí está hablando en presente. ¿eh? Todo eso es presente. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces sería. Buen cool. Como estamos en presente, ¿cuál utilizaríamos? Sería el. Could? No. No, Ken. Ken es presente, Claudia. Could es Ken. pasado. Uh -huh. Ajá. Bien, vamos con la otra porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Uh -huh. Sí, es que el tiempo pasa volando aquí. ¿Cuál sería? El, el número cuatro. Número cuatro. Uh -huh. Ajá. Encontramos alguna sería palabra. también Ken. No, porque aquí está. Porque el... Go. Sí, pero mira, por eso te decía, hay una palabra en la oración que te puede referir como al pasado. Entonces, ah, yesterday. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Yesterday sería, is that ajá, was close. Uh -huh. Entonces sería uh -huh. they. Uh -huh. They could go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Uh -huh. okay. Lo que voy a hacer, Claudia, es que mañana le voy a tener como más, este, ¿cómo se llama? Más ejercicios de estos. Hay unos cuantos para reforzar, porque yo creo que sí ya captaste. Solo lo que necesitamos es practicar un poquito más, ¿ok? Uh, yo creo que ayer quizás se reforzó más esto, ¿verdad? No. Sí, sí ayer medio Ajá, también. Ayer, como, ayer no pude estar en la clase. No hay problema eh, si puedes ver también. Bueno, es importante tu presencia, ¿verdad? Bueno, lo ideal es Ajá. no faltar, no, no faltar. Sí. Pero mira el video que ahí está en YouTube, ¿ok? Y, esa, está cualquier bien. Cosa. y mañana la, le voy a tener un par de ejercicios más. ¿Ok, Claudia? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Uh, you're welcome. Te me cuidas. Good night. Good night. Thank you.